It was in October 1977 when Mushinga and her children had their dinner and later went to bed. She was sleeping in one room with her two daughters while her two sons were in another room. Her blind mother was also sleeping separately in the third room. Two hours before sunrise, they were woken up by the sound of gunfire and flying bullets. This lasted for about 30 minutes. There was a stream of flying bullets. We never left our hearts during that time. And when the shooting finally stopped, the South African soldiers barged into our hearts looking for us. When they found me, they pulled me out and asked how many of us were at home. I told them we were six. The soldiers were in search of plant combatants, whom they suspected of sleeping in the homestead the previous night. But only Mushinga and her two daughters were taken out of their room and taken to the Mahango field, where they found a contingent of South African soldiers surrounding their homestead. Her two daughters remained behind while Mashinga was taken to Shakati for further interrogation. While seated in the vehicle, she saw a body bag next to her. A dark cloud was looming on her. I asked the black soldier what was in the body bag. He told me it was my child. I asked again, what happened to the child? He told me that one of my children was killed. I asked him where my other son was. They asked me to identify my son who was in the plastic body bag. And when I did, it was the older one. And that was 15-year-old Joseph Abraham. Mashinka was also informed that her other eight-year-old son, Ugwang Abraham, was also killed during the shooting. The 41-year-old then was released and returned home to prepare for the burial of her sons, but she was greeted by a distressing picture. My homestead was a mess. Silos had holes, and the mahangu was scattered all over. My chickens were beheaded, and everywhere you look, it was just holes. Mashinga feels lucky because she had just sent her other four children for visits to her siblings' homestead about four days before the shooting incident.